you know, uh, people of South Sudan, they were ignoring the, the history. And now the history is available for them. The history is uh, in uh, custody of a national archive. You can see these are the selected verses from the files in the South Sudan National Archives. They are only brought here to be displayed and to be seen by the members of the parliament so that they also recognize that South Sudan has an archives. These are very important documents because uh, the generations that are coming after us do not know anything about South Sudan. They only know what is happening now, fighting among themselves. We also want to bring national focus on the role archives can play in nurturing peace and reconciliation in South Sudan. The archives forms a primary historical documentary resource for the development of South Sudanese national identity. People are people because of the archives. It records the history of the people and this is what is left to the posterity. That a hundred years from now, the citizens of this country will still see this and they know how far people have come. It holds the history of our heritage. It is the history of our country. It's an important document that it must be shown to the people so that people should know about it, our uh, population in South Sudan. Because now in the schools, these two are not there, even in university. I'm still in university, but I don't know all these things. So I'm really very, very happy. This is the fact, like uh, what is happening here, constitution of the agenda and the present movement. This is really very rare to our children to know that there are such kind of movements in South Sudan. We are great people and we, are, we, we came through history, so we have contributed in Africa and uh, in the world. The particular thing that has moved me is about the origin of a shoulder. Uh, that it was about uh, the homeless bull. When I come back and relate it, it to my own culture, I'm not from Shiluk, I'm a Dinka, but the same uh, pronunciation of the homeless bull, we call it a short, and the Shiluk call it a shoddy. That means we, we have some similarities, we are one people. Yeah. And therefore there is a need for us to unite and develop this beautiful country called South Sudan. Because we were one in the, in the beginning. Let us uh, go through these archives. Let each and every South Sudanese go and see how South Sudanese were united before. So that we address our differences that we have now and solve them amicably and we go back to our peaceful coexistence. There's no nation that can stay without that without recording the events that have taken place, both good and bad, they have got to be recorded. For the country's sake, that this is a country, it has got the people, they have made their history, and here it is. So that is today, we came here to show you that history is important. So, this map, is before Addis Ababa agreement. And you know what's happening in South Sudan during that time? There is a war. And this map, it's a military map. History is one of the best things in order for you to progress. For any progress, you must know history. Otherwise, if you don't know history, it means you will not know you are what is coming ahead of you? At the first moment that 
I heard uh, the lecturer was telling us about National Archives. First thing came to my mind, I will go to the office and read more about uh, a National Archive. Then I will start telling people as a stories in my school, uh, in my community, and I will do uh, a lot if I if I know it better. Let it not be the last time, the first time. Let it continue, and until you have to reach for some the steps, so that they know that there is something called the small archives of South Sudan. We want the history of our own country, South Sudan to have their own history.